The world as we know it is changing, cracking, where a country or part of a continent simply cracks off and starts drifting has now started to happen. This is the amazing story of how England changed. The story begins in Egypt where residents heard a mixture of two sounds, lightning and an earthquake. But this sound was neither a lightning strike nor an earthquake. The whole of Cairo and its northern part simply cracked and started to drift westwards. At first, nobody knew what was happening until the residents awoke in the morning and found that Cairo was no longer connected to Egypt. Yes, people were shocked, people were scared. They never knew what this was. They had no idea. This had never happened before. Some people said on the news this is climate change. However, most said, this is an act of God. God is making this happen. And there were a few who just said, it's just a natural phenomenon. It's happening just like sinkholes. Cairo started drifting west into the Mediterranean Sea, past Tripoli, past Tunis, and amazingly, through the Strait of Gibraltar. Once it got through the Strait of Gibraltar, it started heading northwards The whole world's media was watching and wondering, what is this? Nobody could fathom what was about to happen. The great pyramids of Giza were traveling in the ocean, in the North Atlantic Ocean. The great Sphinx of Giza was also there. Part of the population was also traveling on this now island, the island of Cairo. And some were saying that the mysteries of Egypt were getting even stranger. Nobody knew how the pyramids were built. There was so much discussion. How were they built? Who built them? However, even the ancient Egyptians could not fathom or imagine that something like this would happen. The whole country or part of the country would simply start drifting off and nobody would know where it would end up. Ancient Egypt was on the move and Amazingly, ancient Egypt was heading north towards the United Kingdom. The news reports were very alarming, saying it could crash into Penzance and break part of the UK off. However, it didn't touch Penzance. It carried on going past Penzance. And then, amazingly, it headed east and crashed into Barnstaple, North Devon. Residents heard a huge crash 
and everybody came out. When they came out, they were shocked because there was no more beach left. Yes, the beach had disappeared and now in its place, there was a mountain range similar to the Himalayas. It was amazing. Instead of a beach, you had a mountain range and beyond the mountain range, you had the pyramids of Giza, the Great Sphinx of Giza. The Giza necropolis was now part of the United Kingdom. Everybody was shocked, but there was nothing nobody could do. The government of Egypt requested the UK to give their country back. But the government of the UK said, what do you want us to do? Tow it back to you like a boat or a car with a piece of rope. This is ours now and we govern this. This is part of the British crown. And now you could simply drive down the M5 motorway and you could visit the Great Pyramids of Giza. It was very, very good news for the United Kingdom. Everybody was very happy that something like this could actually happen. Part of another country could actually crash in to another country and now it was part of that country. Everybody who was on the island of Giza before it crashed were told they could have a visa and remain indefinitely in the United Kingdom and they would be residents of the United Kingdom. Anybody who disagreed would simply be deported back to what was left of Egypt. It was up to them. The British government gave them a very good choice. Stay and be part of the United Kingdom or pack your bags or whatever you've got left and will deport you from Heathrow Airport back to what's left of Egypt. Most of the people decided to stay in the UK. And the Great Sphinx of Giza and the Pyramids of Giza were now a tourist attraction of the United Kingdom. This is what's happened and this is what we must accept. Thank you for watching and listening to this story. Let's crack on until we meet again.